So today we're going to be diving underneath the rear of Samantha here and we're going to figure out what leaf spring setup I'm going to be doing uh, with the tricks and things that I have going on. Since the rear axle is done and since the frame is sitting at the height that I would love to be able to keep it at, I don't know if it's possible, um, I am now need to figure out what leaf springs I'm going to run. So here on the rear, I have just some French spring hangers from Rough Stuff that are just sitting on the frame, could be Frenched in or not. We'll just see how that lays out. I just stuffed them up there because I have so much adjustability back here. This is a massive learning opportunity for me. I haven't done anything with those sliders ever. I have thrown leaf springs and shackles underneath the rig, but I'm not quite sure how that will flex. So um, I can't button everything up 100% yet, but a few little pushing and pulling of the suspension to make sure that it's sitting right and in the correct position isn't gonna change the ride height. So today we're really just gonna focus on ride height. And when you wanna focus on ride height, you get a variety of leaf springs because we are gonna do leaf springs in the rear. Let's see, so uh, going from my right to left, we have, these are third gen Tacoma springs. Then we have Ford 56 inch springs. These are Chevy 63s. And then we have some uh, stock Tundra leaf springs. And as you can see, they're all variable heights going from the shortest springs are the lowest. Uh, the Ford 56s are probably just barely higher than the Tacoma ones. The Chevy 63s are even higher. And then the Tundras are definitely the tallest right here. So it's a matter of how tall do we want them? How tall, how low can we keep the vehicle? Uh, longer springs mean more articulation for uh, roughly and simply put. So I want the shortest but lowest combo, which right now kind of looks like this Chevy 63s. So I'm going to grab those Chevy 63s, throw them underneath the vehicle and see what we end up with. This is one of the dilemmas I've tried to figure out and I really don't know exactly what I'm gonna do. This is the Chevy 63's underneath the frame of Samantha. It's on those liquid iron industry sliders, the rough stuff, uh, French style uh, hangers in the front and then the rough stuff spring um, centers, which you can't really see, but they're right there. And the issue is it made it really tall. This was going to be flat. If I raise the front, it will flatten out a little bit. I wonder what, maybe we'll try that. Maybe we'll raise the front for fun and uh, see what frame height we get with this. Not perfectly flat right there, but it'll be flat enough. I'll just try to get it inside that bubble. I think that's pretty much maxed out on that. Pro Eagle actually, and we're a little high on that, the rear end, which is okay, because it's not level perfectly. So, this height right now is 25. Which isn't too bad. I would, I did have it down here at 21. That's four inches more than I would like it. If I can get it between 
21 and 23, I would be happy. This isn't that bad though. And I could French that in a, a ways. I could French both of them in a little bit. It's a possibility right here. And everybody knows those 63s. Good springs. They're flexy. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I might do this. I might do this and do some work on the frame and try to get it lower by Frenching everything in. Here we have the Ford 56s. Uh, the Ford 56 does not have an even center pin, not between the front and the back. So what I did here is I have it set up longer side to the back, uh, shorter side to the front. Uh, it looks pretty good centered axle over the center of the mark on the frame, which is where I want to keep it. However, back here, it's super far back. So I do want to try to push it forward, push the whole axle forward, but then that would not make this for it. So I might flip these around, the leaf springs around. I don't know. Um, I did level this up with the Pro Lift or Pro Eagle again and uh, put the level on it and sitting fairly level. And I only gained about a half inch um, lower than the Chevy 63s. And the Chevy 63s did sit in a better position. So I might stick with them, the Chevy 63s. I don't know. I definitely don't want to go lower than this and go down to the uh, Tacoma Springs. They're just short. So I'm not sure uh, what I'm going to do yet. I'm going to play around with this a little bit more and I'll keep you guys updated. I have this crazy idea and I'm not sure if it's going to work. Because these are so tall and my problem that I'm having is trying to keep the frame low, I'm wondering if I can use these as a spring under setup. So I'm going to take them apart, I'm going to flip the center bolt the opposite way because that's really all it takes to do spring under stuff and then I'm going to throw it underneath there and we'll see what ends up happening. So. Underneath, underneath, and see what ends up happening. This is gonna be interesting. Over to the truck we go.
after running front to back a bunch of times to get the leveling right here on these three jack stands which are actually triangulated in the middle i have the tundra leaves sitting underneath the axle and maybe they're a little farther back than i want here actually i kind of think they're in a good spot i'm not sure i would rather have more droop than up travel and i probably will think i'd get more droop than up travel with these springs um here's where the front hangers are sitting i'm con slightly concerned that that might be too low of a hanging fruit with those leaf springs at that angle you want to guess what the height is any guesses any guesses put them down in the description now Here we go. Boom. Just over 21 inches. Like 21 and a quarter maybe. Right where I want it. So what do you think? Spring under? I kinda like it. It's super low. Super aggressive. So what do you think? Should I go spring under? Is 21 inches super low? Is it too low? I mean, that's what I was aiming for, but it, it just seems so freaking low. And I mean, the body's gonna be hanging out farther than this and more weight is gonna go on it. So it will shrink a little bit more. But spring under? I mean, I know there's some rigs out there that have it, but I've never had one that has had it. So I don't know, I'm kinda, kinda, up in the air let me know what you guys think do you think spring under is a good idea have you ran it before um should i do spring over just to get more clearance and screw the 21 23 inch idea and 25 is okay please let me know i'm actually curious what you guys have to say so put that down in the description let me know if this is a good idea or not i appreciate you watching i'm sorry these samantha videos are taking so long to come out i am i'm really trying to change my daily routine so i can do more of in the shop work for you guys and for me because i <laughs> i want to be in here doing it so hammer down on the subscribe button if you enjoy the samantha vlog and don't forget keep crawling <laughs>